Today, I'm announcing the United States is targeting the main artery of Russia's economy. We're banning all imports of Russian oil and gas and energy. That means Russian oil will no longer be acceptable at U.S. ports, and the American people will deal another powerful blow to Putin's war machine. This is a move that has strong bipartisan support in the Congress and, I believe, in the country. Americans have rallied support — have rallied to support the Ukrainian people and made it clear we will not be part of subsidizing Putin's war. This made — we made this decision in close consultation with our allies and our partners around the world, particularly in Europe, because a united response to Putin's aggression has been my overriding focus to keep all NATO and all of the EU and our allies totally united. We're moving forward with this ban, understanding that many of our European allies and partners may not be in a position to join us. The United States produces far more oil domestically than all of European — all the European countries combined. In fact, we're a net exporter of energy. So we can take this step when others cannot. But we're working closely with Europe and our partners to develop a long-term strategy to reduce their dependence on Russian energy as well.